Welcome to the Suffer Club. My name is Aaron. My good buddy Tyler Dancy is in uh, for this guy right here is the reason that I make a lot of terrible decisions. The Disney Marathon, the unofficial one that I did, you know, links in the description. He's the reason for it. Uh, many, many other ridiculous challenges. And even one we're talking about today, he's the brainchild behind it. But before we get into why he's here, uh, guys, like and subscribe because there's a video coming uh, that I am super excited about. Seriously, the guy we're interviewing and talking to, uh, owner of a running company in Charlotte, uh, and also doing the Hurt 100. If you don't know what that is, stop right now, pause the video, Google search Hurt 100. It's epic. I mean, seriously, it's a, it's a big deal. Like, it's a phenomenal race. But, Tyler, uh, it's the new year. We set goals and challenges at the beginning of the year. It's something that we do, but what is the challenge you got for us this year? Uh, the challenge for 2019 is to do uh, one half marathon each month of the year. So a total of 12 half marathons in 2019. So if you don't know what a half marathon is, that's 13.1 miles. And yeah, we're going to do 12 of those. We've already done one. That's why he's in talking today. And why, like, what's the reason behind that? I mean, why not do a shorter distance? Well, for me, I wanted a goal that was ambitious but attainable uh, i've run distances before in the past so just the idea of doing one or two halves that didn't really appeal that much but stretching it out over the year requires me to be accountable and consistent so just thought eh, that's a good foundation yeah so accountable and consistent and that's something that we have been able to keep each other accountable with we've been running together for a few years but we've really been on it hard the last year and a half running two to three times a week at night together. Uh, currently, we're doing no less than five miles uh, each time we get up and run together. So we're putting in the time and the effort, but he's helping keeping me accountable and I'm doing the same with him. For me, a lot of it is the mental side. It's just thinking 13.1 like every month. Like, you know, I've, I've ran long distances, just 13.1 for really no reason we're not getting a medal at the end uh, is is a big mental challenge for me. And so that's the reason for me to doing it. Well, we did our first one a few days ago in a really, really cold, really, really cold. Yeah. And uh, so here it is and we'll be back at the end. It's a brisk 32 degrees this morning. This is Tyler Dancy. We've set out to do at least a half marathon each month. And uh, here we go. Location is Kannapolis Research Campus. Okay. Kannapolis did a thing called Loop the Loop. They marked multiple loops in the area to really promote an active lifestyle. In the next year to two years, the infrastructure that they're putting in will be phenomenal for active lifestyle. This is where we normally run. If you ever want to put some miles under your feet, let us know. things that's happening here in Kannapolis. They are moving the Intimidator Stadium to downtown, which will be really nice for the downtown economics as well as the vibe. Should be a really cool town in a few years. kudos to our wives that ran at 5 a.m. that morning. That morning, it was like 20, 
21 degrees and our wives got up and ran at 5 a.m. Kudos to you ladies. Uh, but yeah, it warmed up by the end. And, um, you know, for me, a lot of this is just the consistency. It's um, I want to reach 100 miles of running. And I know the only way that I'm going to be able to do that is hours on the feet. It's consistency. And so for me, um, you know, and also another goal that I have, like that I kept in the back, because you don't want to tell all your goals. Because if you come up short, you kind of feel like a failure. And, uh, but I've done an hour 45 half marathon, and I would love to click off an hour 30. Now, currently, I'm not the pace of an hour 30 That's runner, fast. but I, I, I have that goal. So I'm going to try that. Uh, hopefully, you know, consistency this year will help. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, was it, where, where did it get hard for you on this run? Uh, or, or was it hard? No, it was, it was tough. Uh, felt really good. Probably the last two or three miles, once you hit mile 10, started, you know, back getting a little tight, kind of feeling, uh, like you needed some nutrition, but overall felt pretty good. Yeah. And so the overall feeling good, I think that's just from us consistently running. I, 10, mile 10, it, it kind of stung for me. And so, you know, we, we were we were pushing the pace. We talk a lot while we run, and that's something that we do to kind of, it's probably not the smartest thing to do, but uh, we talk and, you know, run nine minute, 8.30 pace, and, you know, we, 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 push, we push it, and sometimes he'll quit talking and I'll start talking. But uh, for that, you know, one thing that we try to do here at the Supper Club is tell you to be proud of the results you get from the effort that you put in. And yeah, I, I was proud of this run simply because of the effort that we put in. It was cold. Um, we both got tight, but we kept pushing. And actually, our pace from mile 10, 11, and 12 was actually faster than our mile 4, 5, and 6. And, you know, we tightened up a little bit. Maybe it's because we were pushing it a little bit. Maybe we knew we were getting to the end. But I was definitely proud of the results and cannot wait for the rest. And so, listen, like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, tell us why you didn't like it, okay? Uh, but subscribe because we got some really exciting videos coming up. And as always, if you're doing an adventure and would love for us to capture it and share your story, let us know. Follow us at The Suffer Club, thesuffer.club on Instagram. Uh, my name is Aaron. This is Tyler, and we are out.